Hello and good day everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir Marcy and for today's video, we are still on our topic solving problems involving midline of a trapezoid. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated with my latest videos. Okay, let's try to refer to the trapezoid EFGH with median IJ. Let's say is solve natin ang question number one, which is if IJ equals X, so label natin. So yung sukat to ni IJ here is X. Next is HG is 8 and EF is 12. So the question here is what is the value of X? Now to solve for this, we are going to apply the midline of a trapezoid. And if you still remember how to get the formula, that is the mid or the median or the mid segment of a trapezoid, which is represented here as IJ. So we have IJ is equal to one half the sum of the two bases. And the bases here are HG, which is a nothing base one, and segment EF which is base 2. So, we're going to add these two bases and divide it by 2 para makuha natin si IJ. So, if we're going to write it in a formula, that's IJ is equal to 1 half HG plus we have EF. Okay? So, ito yung formula ang gagamitin natin in this figure. Now, we're going to solve for X. So, IJ is X is equal to 1 half. Then, yung HG natin, ang sukat niya ay 8 plus ang sukat naman ni EF ay 12. So, we're going to add this two. We have X is equal to 1 half. Then, 8 plus 12, that is 20. Then, to solve for X, we have X is equal to 1 half of 20 or simply 20 times 1, that is 20, divided by 2, the answer is 10. So, the value of x here is equal to 10. Okay, let's try to answer question number 2. Using the same figure in our previous example, so let's solve for question number 2. If ij is equal to y plus 3, HG is equal to 14 and EF is equal to 18. So, i-label muna natin. Si IJ daw, which is our mid-segment or midline, that is actually Y plus 3. Next is HG, which is 14, and si EF, which is 18. So, the question here is, what is the value of Y? So, as I've said earlier, since parehas yung figure natin, we're going to use the same formula for the mid-segment. That is, IJ is equal to 1 half multiply to the sum of its bases. We have HG plus EF. Okay? Then, we substitute. The length or the measure of IJ is Y plus 3. is equal to 1 half multiply to HG which is 14 plus EF which is 18. Okay? So, simplify natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. We have Y plus 3 is equal to 1 half times 14 plus 18 that is 32. Okay? Then, we simplify. What is 1 half of 32? That's Y plus 3 is equal to 16. From here, we will now simplify the equations. Since we have to transfer positive 3 to the right, so we will subtract both sides of the equation by 3. Okay? So, cancel this out. That is 0 pair. So, bring down y is equal to 16 minus 3. The answer is 13. Okay? So, the value of y is 13. Now, our next question is, what is ij? If, you still, if you're going to examine ij, 
is equal to y plus 3. So we can now solve for the length of ij by simply substituting the value we obtained in our equation. So ang value ng y natin is 13. Okay, sorry for that, that is 13. So we have 13 plus 3. Then ij measures 16. Okay, so this is now our answer for question number 2. y is equal to 13 and the length or measure of ij is equal to 16. Okay, using the same figure, trapezoid EFGH with median ij. So we're going to solve question number 3. If hg is equal to x and ij is equal to 16 and EF is equal to 22. What is the value of x? Okay, so first is enable natin yung mga given natin. So we have here x which is the measure of hg. So this one. So this one, this time nasa taas naman yung hahanapin natin. Next we have ij which is 16 and we have EF which is 20. Now, we're going to solve for the value of x. So, using again the same equation, we have I, ij is equal to 1 half times we have hg plus ef. Okay, so then we substitute the value of ij is 16 is equal to 1 half multiply to hg which is x plus yung ef natin that is 22 now so we simplify this equation so first is we apply cross product so I multiply natin yung 2 sa ilalim dito sa 16 so that's 2 times 16 or we simply multiply both sides of the equation by 2 okay so yun na gawin natin multiply both sides of the equation by 2 so, 2 times 16, that is 32, is equal to 2 times 1, that's 2 divided by 2, so we have 1. 1 times x plus 22. So, when you multiply 1 times x plus 22, the answer is x plus 22 pa rin. So, 32 is equal to x plus 22. Then, we need to solve for the value of x. So, magsusubtract tayo both sides of the equation by 22. Okay? So, in apply natin is subtraction property of equality. So, 32 minus 22, that is 10, is equal to, this is cancelled out kasi yan ay 0 pairs. So, the value of x here is 10. Okay? So, that's how you solve for this um, question number 3. Okay, let's proceed with question number 4. If hg is equal to y minus 2, ij is equal to 20, and ef is equal to 31, what is the value of y and what is hg? Okay, so first is enable muna natin. The value of hg is equal to y minus 2. Okay? Next is ij is 20 and ef is 31. So, first, kunin naman natin yung value ni y para masolve naman natin yung measure ni hg. So, same pa rin yung ating equation na gagamitin. We have ij is equal to 1 half times we have hg plus ef so our ij is 20 is equal to 1 half multiplied to hg which is y minus 2 plus we have ef which is 31 okay so, 
step number one is we simplify yung nasa loob ng parentheses. We have 20 is equal to 1 half multiplied to y. Then, negative 2 plus 31, the answer is positive 29. Okay? So, next step is we will multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So, 2 times 20, that is equal to 40, is equal to 2 times 1 half, that is 1, multiply to y plus 29. So, again, tulad ng example number 3 natin, when you multiply 1 to y plus 29, the answer is y plus 29. So, we have 40 is equal to y plus 29. Then, we going to subtract both sides of the equation by negative 29. Okay? So, we will apply subtraction property in short. So, we will subtract both sides of the, of the equation by 29. So, this is a zero pair. And what is left is y is equal to 40 minus 29. The answer is 11. Okay, so this is now the value of y. But, take note, we're still looking for the measure of hj. So, para makuha natin yon, we have hg, sorry, that's hg. So, hg is equal to y minus 2. So, the value of hg is 11 minus 2. Then, the length of hg is equal to to 9. Okay, so these are now our answer. Y is equal to 11 and HG is equal to 9. And finally, for our last question, this is for you. Okay, so you refer to the figure to the right, which is trapezoid EFGH with median IJ. Now, if HI is equal to 10, and IE is equal to X minus 4, what is the value of X and what is the value of IE or the measure of IE? So, I want you to solve this and comment down your answer in our comment section below. Okay? So, that ends our lesson today and I hope you learned something new and you can apply it in our next lesson. Okay? See you and goodbye.